you ready for your 39 questions? I sure am. Come on in. Awesome. Is 39 okay or is that too many? That's a lot of questions, 39 questions. I wonder if uh, maybe I can answer half of them and you answer half of them. Is that okay, Katrina? Yeah, that sounds good. Awesome. All right, so first question, how long have you been a priest? I have been a priest for almost 16 years. Amazing, how long has Canterbury Episcopal Student Center at Texas A&M been here? Canterbury has been here since 1943. We're a really old student organization at A&M. Wow, that is impressive. Mm -hmm. What are typical activities that take place at Canterbury? Um, we worship every week on Wednesday night. Uh, we have Bible study every week on Thursday night. And we gather throughout the week for other things like study hall and fellowship and things like that too. Wow, there's a lot going on. There is. What are your favorite personal hobbies? I love to hike. I love to kayak. I love live music and uh, bicycling. Wow, that's really fun. What's the funniest mistake you've made leading worship? Funniest mistake I made leading worship. One uh, time, uh, about a year after I'd become a priest, uh, it was communion time and we had like baked loaves of bread. And I picked up that loaf of bread that somebody had made and brought that morning and I broke it and it wasn't done. And so the inside was dough. And so I, when I pulled it apart, <laughs> it was like pizza dough that just fell uh, down. That's how it takes a bread. It was pretty embarrassing and funny at the same time. <laughs> well, speaking of bread, does Canterbury feed students? We do. Uh, feeding students is a big part of our ministry. And so we uh, feed uh, every Wednesday night uh, with worship and uh, Bible study and we have food, we have snacks and coffee bar and things set up uh, all week long so students can come over to eat at any time. That's awesome. Well, you just mentioned coffee. What's the best coffee shop near campus? Um, I really like a newer coffee shop uh, right across the street uh, from campus called Carport. Oh, I heard that one. Yep. Well, awesome. Let's go check out this room in here. That looks really neat. Yeah, we've got a, we newly renovated our chapel over the summer, so it's brand new for all of us. Oh, that's incredible. Well, yeah. What do you love about being an Episcopalian? Uh, there are a lot of things I love about being an Episcopalian. Uh, probably one of the main things that I love about being Episcopalian is just how uh, open we are. We're open to questions. We've had uh, female priests for a long, long time. We're LGBTQ affirming, so uh, we're a very open denomination with room for lots of different people in it. That's awesome. Actually, what does Episcopalian mean? Episcopalian means that uh, we have bishops. It's a fancy word for a church that has bishops, but we're a part of the worldwide Anglican communion that uh, has its center at uh, Canterbury in London. Wow. How is Canterbury different from other faith groups on campus? Um, Canterbury is different because uh, we say that we're personal, inclusive, and sacred. Uh, so we have a good sized group, and yet it's not so big that you don't uh, get to know everybody. Uh, we're inclusive in that we really want everybody uh, to come, and we practice a lot of the traditional uh, liturgies and things from, the, uh, from our uh, historically Catholic tradition. Oh wow, I love that. What's your yeah. favorite gospel? I love the poetry and the cosmology of the Gospel of John. Oh, nice. What's your go-to spiritual practice? Uh, centering prayer. I do centering prayer pretty regularly. Uh, it's, a, it's a practice where you sit down for 10, 15, 20 minutes, and um, you repeat a sacred word kind of over and over. It's like a chant or a mantra to yourself. That's awesome. Come on back to my office. Great. So what do students call you? Uh, Rich. I really just like my name. That's good. <laughs> Where do you meet? Uh, we meet here in this building. It's Canterbury House is the name of our building, and it's located at uh, 902 George Bush Drive. So it's right across George Bush from uh, Kyle Field, uh, near there, right next door to Hillwell Jewish Center. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. What Bible character would you most like to interview? Paul. I've got a lot of questions for that guy. <laughs> What's one thing that's challenging about campus ministry? Um, seeing our seniors graduate and move off, uh, I, you get to know people and then they're gone. So, so things continue to change. That's both, um, uh, both a struggle and in some ways a blessing for all of us too. Yeah. What Bible study will you be doing this semester? 
This semester, we're doing this really cool, innovative, uh, small group Bible study, and it's using a curriculum that I created actually called Following the Way, where we're looking at the great commandment. Jesus said, love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. So we're going to look at what did Jesus mean when he said each of those four things and really dig in deep. Nice. When does Canterbury worship, and how will you be during the pandemic? Yeah, that's a great question. So we worship every Wednesday night at 730. Uh, because of the pandemic, uh, things are going to be a little bit different this year than they would normally. But in some ways, we're going to be uh, forced to do some creative things, which might be a lot of fun. Uh, so we're going to be meeting here Wednesday at 730. And sometimes we'll be worshiping inside of our big space. Uh, but sometimes we'll be doing parking lot worship or even looking at maybe doing worship at a park. And so uh, every Wednesday night. Um, probably starting here at least. Awesome. And yeah. one more fun question for you. If you could be any superhero, who would you be? I would be this guy. I would be uh, Batman. I love Batman because he wears all black and he uh, takes uh, tragedy and turns it into good things for other people. Justice. That's awesome. Well, we're halfway there. Do you want to switch, Rich? I'm ready. Okay. Thanks. And here you are. So Katrina, uh, what are you studying here at AM? I study political science and communications, and I'm doing that to go into education reform and research. Sounds fantastic. Yeah. What is your favorite memory from your time at Canterbury? I would say my favorite memory was probably being one of my best friend's baptismal sponsors my freshman year. It was just a super awesome um, experience that I got to be a part of. That does sound cool. Here, help me go upstairs. All right, cool. Um, next question. When you came to Texas a uh, why did you get involved in Canterbury? Well, I really just wanted to find a great faith community to grow my faith as a college student not living at home anymore, and I really found that place here at Canterbury. Cool. Um, I hear you are the newcomer ministry team leader. What does that mean? Well, basically, it means that I am in charge of helping the newcomers team with different Bible study leadership positions, as well as helping all the newcomers feel like they're at home in our community here at Canterbury and a lot of other things just about welcoming and inviting new people to Canterbury. Sounds great. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. Uh, have you always been an Episcopalian? I actually have. I grew up in the Episcopal Church, but my parents didn't. They grew up Catholic and Methodist, and so when they got married, they became Episcopalian and they raised my whole family in the Episcopal Church. A lot of families are that way. Yeah. It's yeah. a good place to kind of meet in the middle. Exactly. Um, what do you love about being an Episcopalian? I love the inclusion and how everybody's welcome no matter what, and it's just a great come-as-you-are community. Sure is. Could you show us the study room? Yeah, so the study room is over this way. This is our lounge. A lot of people like to come up here, study during the week, on weekends, for finals, and have whiteboards, tables, anything you could really think of and need to study with. Cool. What's the most exciting thing that's happened in the last year here? Um, at Canterbury, I think one of the most exciting things was getting to go to Santa's Wonderland back in December. It was just kind of a big field trip that the Canterbury friends got to go on, and that was super exciting. That was a lot of fun. Did you ride the bull? I did. I did. I, I did, did fall did. off. I <laughs> it was fun. It. Uh, what's your favorite uh, place to eat lunch on campus? On campus, I would say in the MSC, there is a great sandwich place in there, and I probably go there like three times a week. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a favorite place you study at? I like studying in the Commons Learning Lab. When I was a freshman and sophomore, I lived on campus, and I would literally walk the 20 minutes from north side to south side so that I could study in the Commons, because it's just such a great like study environment. Yeah, it is a good place. Hey, in the song we sing in worship called How He Loves, you know which song I'm talking about? Yes, yes. Uh, which version of the lyrics do you sing? Unforeseen or sloppy wet? Ooh, that is controversial. I yeah. think I say sloppy wet. Yeah, it's more fun that way. <laughs> yes, I agree. Does Canterbury have any traditions? We do. I think some of our traditions are the fact that we do meet on Wednesday nights and that we always have meals together in a normal um, semester as well. We have traditions like going to Santa's Wonderland in December and having Bible study on Thursdays and just little things like that. Yeah. And what does Canterbury mean to you as a student? As a student, Canterbury is really my family. Like, 
I don't think I would be the person I am today without all the friends and community that I've made at Canterbury, and it's just been a big part of my college career. It is. Let's take a shot of the main room and then we can walk on back down there. Yeah, so this is our balcony. You can kind of see everything below from up here. We like to present our different slideshows from up here. Yep, it's a fun hangout spot. Yeah. All right. Come back through. Um, so what do students usually wear when they come to Canterbury? Do you they have can wear anything dressing? like this. Some people like to just wear what they wore to class that day. That's normally what I'll be wearing. No one really dresses up too fancy. It's really just kind of as you are. Okay, cool. Uh, what's the favorite meal, the best meal you've ever had at Canterbury? Oh, I think that would have to be when we made homemade fajitas a couple semesters ago. It was so good. <laughs> If you could have one meal with any biblical person, who would it be and what would you eat? I think I would say Jesus and I would love to get pancakes. I think that would be a really good meal. Pancakes with Jesus. Yeah. That sounds good. <laughs> uh, do you have any advice that you would give newcomers? I think one of the greatest pieces of advice I got as a freshman is just talk to people. I know it's going to be hard this semester with a lot of things being online, but Talk to people, reach out to them, use that chat option on your Zoom and really get to know people. That's the greatest way you can ever expand your own horizons. Yep. Um, what's your favorite Bible verse? My favorite Bible verse is Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, which says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understandings, and in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. And I actually have that on the back of my phone case because it's so important to me. Wow, that's impressive. <laughs> um, on Sundays, uh, do you go to church at a church in town, and, and where do you go? I do. I go to actually St. Thomas Episcopal Church next door, mm -hmm. and I'll be there on Sundays or whatever type of online worship that looks like this semester. Great. We got one more question. Let's answer that one together. Okay. Sounds like a good deal. And the final question, uh, how does somebody join Canterbury, and, and what do you do? It's actually really easy. So the first thing you do is just go to our website. That's www.canterbury.center. And uh, at the bottom, there will be a pop-up box where you put in your email address. And then once you do that, Rich and I will be in contact with you and invite you to join our community and you can be part of all the fun things that we have going on. It'd be great. Can't wait to meet you. See you soon. Bye. Yeah.